We've been uh, free from balloons for a week now. Uh, <laughs> and I found this kind of interesting little article or story here. I guess during World War II, uh, this is in late 1944, the Japanese army launched about 9,000 unmanned bomb-carrying balloons across the Pacific to bombard the West Coast. Most of the balloon bombs fell harmlessly into the ocean, but a few landed in the Northwest, setting off a few minor forest fires. Only about 300 balloon bombs were found or observed in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Uh, in January 1945, the federal government's Office of Censorship ordered a media blackout on the balloons. Of the known locations of balloon bombs landings, balloon bomb landings, only one was reported in Santa County. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, but I, this is one thing I picked. I found in this in this little thing here. Office of Censorship. So our government had an Office of Censorship. So our government was actively censoring the media way back in the 1940s. So the fact that they're been censoring, you know, the media and, and social media companies and all this here for COVID and all this stuff, I guess it's nothing new. Um, but now at the same time, I have a problem with that. So this is something we've done in the past. Our government has done in the past. And they're continuing to do, and we're allowing it to happen, and we shouldn't allow that to happen. So anyways, uh, I guess also China's not the first one to be sending balloons all over the place. <laughs> they learned it from Japan. Uh, kind of cool, I guess. You know, it's like those torches that you light and you send up there, and it's like, hey, why don't I put some bombs on there and float them over to the, to, to the United States? So I, hey, you know, that's a novel idea there.